Physics paper 3, WASC 2017, question 1b. The apparatus needed are the slotted weight, weight anger, thread, the metal row, and the knife edge. Question says to determine the G, which is the center of gravity of the metal rod on the knife edge. So, by by my own practical here, my G is at center 50 cm of the meter row. The thread is placed at the 15 cm of the meter row for a weight of 1 newton or lesser. For the purpose of this practical, I'm using 0.25 Newton. 0.25 Newton. I have my weight to be 10, 10, and 5. While the center of gravity still remain the 50 cm mark on the meter row. Being earned at the other end to a 20 gram slotted mass, which gives us our position to be at 98 cm. 98 cm. So the distance between the G and the mass inscribed as Y in our question paper is called L. And here our L will be 98 minus 50, which is 48 for the 20 gram mass. For 30 gram mass, with our G equals 50 cm, we have the position of Y to be 84, and this is 30 gram, making the value of L to be 34 cm. Taking our precaution into consideration with the weight at 15 cm mark on the meter rule and 0.25 newton still in place, uh, we have our mass to be 40 now, 40 gram mass, which is placed at 75 centimeter mark of the meter row. With the precaution in place, we have our 50 gram mass to be at 69.5, which is the value of Y. Y, our L becomes 30 Our L becomes 69.5 minus 50, which is 11.5. Sorry, 19.5, rather. With precautions also in place for the 60 gram mass, 0.25 Newton 
weight, 15 cm mark, we have the value of y to be 66.2 cm. 66.2 cm given L to be 16.2 cm and that happened to be the last weight the last mass for the practical this is what we have for the table of value for 20 gram mass we have our L to be equal to 48 and our L inverse to be 0.021. The L inverse is taken into three decimal places, which is the required for WASC practicals in physics. And for the third year, we have our L to be 34. And our L inverse to be 0.029. And the rest is there. So for the graph, this is just a sketch. Our mass in gram on Y axis. While our L inverse on X axis are stated in the question. So, the value of M is now being plotted against L. Thanks.